Hello everyone this is Sheetal Maria with you at Bio Ocean and we are here to learn a new topic that is root pressure theory this will be a new topic to all of you so before getting into the video if any one of you are new to my channel please go and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications whenever i upload a video This root pressure theory was proposed by Priestley in 1916 but the term root pressure was suggested by Stephen Hales in 1727 According to this theory ascent of sap is due to an upward positive hydrostatic pressure developed in the xylem sap of the root system it is called root pressure root pressure is believed to push the water column upward along the xylem root pressure is an active force generated by the active absorption of mineral ions and accumulation of mineral ions in the xylem sap makes it concentrated than the soil solution this difference in the solute potential is believed to provide the driving force for absorption and upward conduction of water along the xylem tube the two evidences that support the root pressure theory are guttation and bleeding guttation is the exudation of droplets of liquid water from leaf margin while bleeding is the slow exudation of watery solution from the cuts made on the plant body root pressure is only a weak force it can push water only up to few meters and so quite it is insufficient to lift water to the top of the most of the trees hence it has less significance in the life of transpiring plants therefore the current view is that although root pressure can serve as a driving force it is not prime force to lift water along xylem tubes it was believed that root pressure is a significant factor in the action of sap but it has been demonstrated that water moves to the top of the plants even if the roots have been removed moreover the magnitude of root pressure is about 2 atm which is just sufficient to raise the water level up to a few feet thus it is widely accepted that the root pressure is not an adequate force to account for the movement of water to top of tall trees the major objections raised against the root pressure theory are action of sap has been observed in plants whose roots were removed in most plants the average root pressure is 2 atm which is not enough to lift water to the top of tall trees root pressure is not observed in conifer trees and also in plants growing in cold dry or less aerated soil even though action of sap is normal in them root pressure do not occur in plants who are exposed to relatively dry atmosphere low soil moisture or both this is because water in their stem is under tension and the absorption of water is less in detopped plants than with apex that are the limitations of this root pressure theory this is the overall idea of root pressure theory hope you understand it if you like this video please give me a thumbs up comment your suggestion and share it to your friends and others who are interested to learn biology and if you have any kind of doubts please let me th know through my email id that i have provided thank you for listening god bless thank you